Look, Mommy, there's an airplane up in the sky. All right, so today I was just scrolling around YouTube looking for a tutorial that would help me figure out the ending to the verse uh, of Goodbye Blue Sky from Pink Floyd. Uh, that uh, it's the ending of a verse and it says did 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 you ever wonder why we had to run for shelter when the promise of a brave new world unfurled beneath the clear blue sky um, my picking pattern 
runs out of picks before I run out of words, basically. So I was looking for some guidance on a tutorial and what I found were some pretty bad tutorials that did not even sound right. They just sounded, I don't know. The best I can describe was uh, just tone deaf. I don't know how people could play that and think that that sounded anywhere close to the original it, it wasn't that bad it was recognizable I'll give it that but it just it sounded very weak and and uh, it you know that's the it's it's the point in time where the audience starts responding things like you suck <laughs> and boo you know and if you're not going to check your sources to make sure that they're accurate or at least check how your tablature sounds on your own instrument as opposed to the actual song, ask yourself this. Can you play along with the Pink Floyd song, Goodbye Blue Sky? And if you can't, then there's a problem. It's not the original version. If it sounds way off, then your tabs are way off. And this is a tablature song. There's a few chords in it that I add to make things simpler. But this is a tablature song. It's a picking song. So I'm going to do it in a couple different parts. So, all right, first I'm going to show you my tablature, which is the correct tablature, or the best thing I can find on YouTube anyway. So we'll start with line one, where it says, look, mommy, there's an airplane up in the sky. And we'll start over here. There's your six chords with the E, A, D, G, B, E. So you want your index finger on the D string, which is the third string in, the D string on the fourth fret. And then you want your middle finger on the second string in, which is the A string on the fifth fret. And you're going to concentrate on the A string, the D string, and the G string, which is the second, third, and fourth string from the, from the top until you get to the end of this sequence. And then you're going to go until you come to the three at the end which is your index finger on the second string, third fret. And that ends this first sequence. So I'm going to play it for you on the guitar, and then I'm going to stop there and add my strumming. The A minor and the E. Index finger, third string, D string, 
fourth fret with the index finger. Next string, second string, middle finger, fifth fret, A string. Now the picking pattern, once you have your fingers on the fretboard right, goes A, D, A, G, D, A, D, A, D, A, D, G, A, D, A, D, A, D, G, A, D, A, D, A, D, G, and the A on the third fret. Now you're ready to progress to the next part of your song, which is easier, it's chords. Why don't we just remember the chords, because there are only two of them. And the first chord starts with an A minor, and you do not sing with this. This part is uh, accompanied by a low ominous sounding electric organ that Pink Floyd plays to uh, uh, serve as the verse. So. Now, I'm going to show you what I just did there after I got out of the chords. Uh, I got a mess here. One of these days I'll get organized. So. Here was line two with the just chords. And then you went back into the uh, index finger, being back on the starting position, which was the fourth fret, or the fourth fret on the D string, third string in, middle finger being on the second string, the A string, fifth fret. Why is this camera not focusing? And the picking pattern goes a D G D A D G D A D G D A D G D and then you get into your oohs. So let's let's do the oohs before we get out of here. So there's your oohs. You're going to be alternating between the D string, which is your third string in. It's going to be an open D and your G string, which you're going to be fretting from the 11th fret all the way down to your 4th fret. It's just going to get lower and lower and lower. So it starts with 0, 11, 0, 9, 0, 7, 0, 6, 6, 7, 4. And then you have a lower uh, progression that you go into. But let's get you up to that 2, 4, 0, 4, 2, 4, 0, that, the, that whole mess there. Let's get you up to that. All right. 
get the camera back on its mount. So here's the uh, A D G D A D G D A D G D A D G D zero eleven zero nine zero seven zero six six seven six four okay. For this next part, you're going to have your index finger on the A string, 2nd fret. And then on the 3rd string, the D string, you're going to have your ring finger on the 4th fret. And then you're going to pick down from A, D, G, a D G D A D G G A D G D D A D G D And then you start this part over again the ooze 011 09 07 06 676 4 and then back to the index finger on the second fret or the second string second fret that's the, where the index finger goes and then you're going to place your ring finger on the fourth fret D string which is a third string so you can hit the A D G D A D G D which is the two three four three two three four three All right, we're going to go into the uh, uh, main verse right now. I'll show you what it looks like. And that should say, Did, 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 did you see the frightened ones? And you can see up top on the tablature that it's only using two strings. Your second and your fourth strings, which is your A and your G strings. Your A string is going to be plucked open the whole time and that's represented by zero and your G string the fourth string is gonna start out with your index finger on the fifth fret and you're gonna pluck that three different times while alternating back and forth between the second string which is your A string for the did 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 and then and I think that covers the did 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 you hear the and then the falling bombs is the four zero four zero and then it's the same exact verse just about I should have had written down what the zero before the five and then it says it should say did 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 you hear the falling bombs and of course the did 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 is covered by the zero five zero five zero five the 
And then the falling bombs is the 0404. And then you get to the last part, which is very hard. I'm going to try and play this part, but it's very difficult because it is off key. Did, did, did you see the frightening ones? Did, 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 did you see the falling? And now we go into the last part, which goes, did, 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 did you ever wonder why we had to run for shelter when the promise of a brave new world unfurled beneath the clear blue sky? It's almost impossible to sing. It steals your breath. So, this one's a little trickier. And that goes... Did, 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 did you ever? And that's the zero five zero five zero five. Ever wonder? And that's the zero four. Why we had zero two. And the two represents the had to run for shelter. And that's the zero zero. And that's the four string on the. On a open open fret and now you're out of room on the fourth string you've, you've gone all the way down to zero on the fourth string so that's the lowest you can go on the fourth string you're done with the fourth string but you need to go lower and then it goes when the promise and that's the third string fourth fret on the third string, which is the D string, of a brave, and that's the zero two, that represents brave, and then the open A and the open D, the open second and the open third string, new world, and then we go down here, And unfurled is represented by an open, open plucking of the second string, which is the A string, unfurled. And then beneath is represented by the second string with your index finger on the fourth fret. And then the word the is represented by plucking the second string again which is your A string with your finger pressing down on the third fret and then clear is represented by pressing with your index finger down on the second fret of your second string and then blue sky you want to take your uh, index finger again that should still be on your second string second fret now you want to take your ring finger and you want to place place that on the third string on the fourth fret and you're going to be going back and forth between your second, third, and fourth strings in a pattern that goes two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, three all while you're pressing down on the correct frets all right so now I'm gonna conquer that freaking pain in the ass verse that goes 
Did, 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 did you ever wonder why we had to run for shelter when the promise of a brave new world unfurled beneath the clear blue sky? So the way I'm going to conquer it is like all these other guitarists in these tutorials that just don't sing. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sing. goes back to the beginning so if you remember the beginning and I'll show it to you again just so you don't get lost put your index finger we'll always start with the index finger to make it easier we'll put the index finger on the third string that's the D string fourth fret and we put the middle finger on the second string fifth fret and we go We'll just do it by the number of strings in. So we go two, three, two, four, three, two, three, two, three, two, four, three. Two. Okay. So now we're back at the oohs. And that ends with the. Uh, Good old So let's get you started. Basically you're gonna be working with your third and fourth strings. Your third string is your D string. You're not gonna press down at, on that at all. Your fourth string is your G string, and that one, you're going to be pressing down on that the whole way up the neck, from the 11th fret all the way up to the 4th fret, if you remember. That's the way you do the oohs. Let me try that again. Zero eleven, zero nine, zero seven, zero six, zero six, six, four. And then you put your index finger on the second string, second fret. And you put your ring finger on the third string, fourth fret. And you pick your second, third, and fourth strings in a pattern that goes two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three. And back to the beginning again with the I transition right from the uh, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three with my index finger on the second thing string second fret third string fourth fret with my ring finger and I went from that's two three four three two three four three two three four three two three four three and I went and I went straight to the a minor after that so it went did, did, did you see the frightened ones? Did, 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 did you see the falling bones? The flames, they're all long gone But this pain, pain goes on And that, that last part was just basically you keep your fingers in the beginning position 
if you remember your beginning position, that's with your index finger on the third string, fourth fret with your index finger. And then you put your middle finger on the fifth fret, second string. So then you pluck this. Two three four three two three four three two three four three two three four three We're ready to go into the ending of the song, which is the Goodbye Blue Sky Goodbye Blue Sky Goodbye So first we're going to take a look at the tablature so we know what we're getting into. So there it is. You're going to be dealing with the D, G, and B strings. It's going to be an open D, and the G you're going to press down on the 11th fret and the B you're going to press down on the 10th fret and that's going to cover the good and now you're going to slide that same configuration up you're going to slide that configuration straight from there up two spaces from 11 on the G and 10 on the B to 9 on the G and 8 on the B. So a full two frets up. So you got the bye. So now you have the good bye. And now you want to get the blue sky which is you're going to be dealing with an open D at the same time you're going to be striking the G and B chords both of them pressed down at the same time on the 12th fret blue and then you want the sky and that is D, G, and B all played at the same time open D G on the 11th fret you press down and B on the 10th fret you press down so that covers goodbye blue sky and now we're going to go over to the next part and it's the same start everything's the same except for the last part which is sky again the words are the same and it goes goodbye blue sky so good is once again D an open D G pressed down on the 11th fret and B pressed down on the 10th fret and you strike the D G and B all at the same time for a good and then by you press down it's a zero on the D an open D 
a nine ninth you press down on the G string on the ninth fret and then you also press down on the B string on the eighth fret and you hit all three together the D the G and the B for the bye so now you have the good bye and now we're gonna go for blue sky so the blue is open D third string and then we're gonna have on the G we're gonna press down on the twelfth fret for the G and we're gonna press down on the twelfth fret for the B at the same time and we're gonna strike we're gonna strike the D G and B all at once for the blue and now we're gonna get the sky so that one is open D on the G string we press down on the seventh fret and on the B string we press down on the seventh fret so now we have goodbye blue sky and now we're gonna do the goodbye and that is once again the zero seven seven that we just did you just do that over again and that's that does the good and now you slide those two fingers up from the from the uh, and keep them on the G and the B and you just slide them up from the G and the B on the seventh fret to the G and the B on the fifth fret. Now you strike the open D, G and B, so you go goodbye. So the good is the 077 and by is the 055. And now you start the dun 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 and then goodbye which is again the 077 055 you remember how to do that you just got done doing it open D G on the seventh fret B on the seventh fret for good and again you just slide those two up straight from the G and the B on the seventh fret up to the fifth fret goodbye dun 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 goodbye dun 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 and then you go dun 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 so that's the end of the song so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that out and we'll sound check it to make sure it doesn't sound like some tone-deaf idiot like half these people on YouTube I don't know how they think their tutorials sound anything but terrible and they to think they get accustomed to sounding like that my god that's when the, that's when the uh, audience has a right mm -hmm. to hurl insults like you suck and boo I mean if you're not gonna do your homework to make yourself sound as close to the original as possible then you deserve that you know if you're gonna ha come off and 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 not put the effort into it and make yourself sound half-ass then you you earn the the insult you know some of these people can be very harsh you know I understand but part of that you earn by not vetting your own material you don't want to be taking out taking on a uh, learning a tutorial that is just plain wrong and sounds wrong you're just gonna make a fool of yourself 
and you're going to make yourself sound like it it's amateur hour, you know? So anyway, we're going to go do the goodbye blue sky. All right, all you hungry guitarists out there who are waiting to feast on a new song. I gave you a pretty good long stare at the last part of this song. So let's see how much of it you remember. It starts out with your fingers on uh, the fourth and fifth strings on the uh, 10th and 11th fret. So, good, good, good. and then, so basically your middle finger is on the 4th string, 11th fret, and your index finger is on the 5th string, 10th fret. So, that covers the good, and then just slide it up, 2 frets, bye. And then I use one ring finger. I bend it over. Let me show you how I'm doing this. Because it'll, it'll make your strings sound better. I am using just one finger, my ring finger. And I can't get my pinky out of the way to show you. My ring finger is pressing down on two strings at a time and and I bend it down like that and I cover two strings on the 12th fret with that finger I highly recommend it and it's highly effective so we'll start that over Good bye. index finger there. Goodbye. Okay, here's the whole part of the breakdown. Again, third string, press down with your index finger on the third fret. As soon as you strike that third string, slide it down to the fifth fret with your index finger. And then instantly go up to the fourth fret, third string. And then second fret, third string. And then second string third fret as soon as you pluck it slide the third fret down to the fifth fret and then to the seventh fret on the second string and then you just start the beginning over you have your index finger on your third string fourth fret and you have your middle finger on your second string fifth fret and you do the two, three, two, four, three, three, two, three, or two, three, two, three, two, four, three, two, three, two, three, two, four, three, two, three, two, two, three, two, four, three. And there you have my first tutorial, which took entirely too long. For a minute, for a two minute and 54 second song, that took entirely too long. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with not describing something and telling you exactly where to put your fingers and exactly which 
strings to push down on exactly which fret, you know, or exactly what to do. I didn't want to leave you hanging. So I know a lot of other guys do that to you. They just sit there and play in front of you on the video and they expect you to figure it out. I didn't want to be that guy. So I tried to do you a solid and explain my way through the video. Now I'll try and play the whole song and it'll sound a lot better once there's no breaks and you can hear the whole song. I'll try and sing as much as possible. 